is here's the mongoose, um, the red one, um, the paddle, the, um, a lot of has been said about this bat in the news. It's been endorsed by a few good pros like Hayden, um, a few other people I, off, the, off the top of my head I can't remember. Oh yeah, um, G um, Jimmy Anderson. He uses the blue one though, and a few other people I can't remember at this time. I can't actually show you any shots, um, like um, throwdowns or struts with it because I've broken my metatarsal at the moment. But I'm gonna keep give you a quick lowdown on the bat. Okay. Let's go into the bat. It hasn't got that good range at all. It's got maybe one, two, three, four. Cashmere willow, cheap willow. Um, I don't think it's all that. I I got the cashmere willow fifty pound a uh, quid one because I was not going to use this as my main bat, so I didn't want to spend that much money on it. Um, but it, uh, what it says on the website about it giving you 20% more um, more time, um, more um, power hitting it. I don't know whether it's because I got the cashmere one, but I don't feel more power than my normal traditional bat. I prefer my normal traditional bat, bat just because it gives you that safety um, that is there. If you're playing a ball at your upper body and... Um, that the traditional bat is probably up to here on the mongoose and if you're playing it on your upper body you want that safety so on your on a traditional bat it'll hit the top the top here on my evo it'll hit around here but whereas the mongoose doesn't have this area so it will come rocketing at your chest well um, i don't like that feature um I prefer the safety. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a hard hitting batsman. So maybe I'm, I'm being a bit, I'm um, I'm not the right person for this bat. But if you are a hard hitter, um, okay, I can understand. I bought the cashmere willow one. It does not come with a toe guard, which is quite frustrating. I haven't really, I've, I've used this in the nets, but not properly. I didn't like it in the nets. It's got a, a bit of a curve, if you can see it. Um, I'll show you the back. Um, it's a size 6. Let's let that focus. Yep, uh, series 1. It conforms to MCC laws. Um, let's give you... Um, <sighs> The side view, it is quite heavy for a size 6 bat, judging how small it is. I was quite surprised. But it's got a nice curve to it. I, I like the curve to it. Um, I would have even liked a bit more of a curve, actually. Um, like the MB Malik bats. Um, the eastern curve to it. But, as I said before... If your mate's got one, just test it, his out. But um, I wouldn't recommend one personally. If you're a batsman like me, who just play, who um, it's a bit of a nudger and a a solid batsman, Jonathan Trot type batsman, then I wouldn't recommend this bat. If you're a hard hitter, a three D Razak, um, Brendan McCullum, etc then i would have a i would have a go and buying one personally i don't think it's all that but some of you might have different views okay that's that's the lowdown on the mongoose cricket bat um this is my first cricket bat review on my chat this channel um I will doing one be doing one on the Grey Nichols Fusion, Grey Nichols Evo, Grey Nick um MB Malik sorry, MB Malik Barbershare, um a few other bats, GMs and stuff. But yeah.
that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good day.